valves. This is the head. We're taking off the valves today. Uh, well, we're leaving the valves in, but we're taking out the springs and retainers uh, along with the uh, valve clips to keep the uh, springs in. So we have this little tool that just came in the other day. And uh, it's fairly simple. It just screws into your uh, stock bolt patterns for your, uh, your girdles right here. And uh, so you just have these little screws or bolts. They bolt in right here. And just finger tight's fine. And of course, per cylinder, you have two uh, valves. So exhaust and intake valves, two for each. And then you have these two spots right here. So for one valve and then this one for the other valve. And uh, to use it, it's fairly simple. You just have this bolt and this little uh, socket impersonator. Um, it goes right on top of the retainer. And it has a little window in here. So once you screw this bolt down, it screws down and it will... Yeah, that way. Wrong way. So once you have it compressed, you can see little clips right there. So that's where you take your magnet and you can pop them out just like that and grab two of them so that's uh, two per valve and then of course these things are small and easy to lose so they will go in a baggie and then you decompress it And once you decompress it, you just remove this. And then from there, you can take out the springs and retainers. And for uh, at least the H series, I'm not sure about other, uh, other engines and heads and such, but at least for H series, they came stock with a uh, twin spring. So it's, uh, it can rev higher and it, uh, it won't go out as easy, which is really cool. So. There's that, and then we just have another baggie for those ones. That go right, chia. And then you just do that for all the other ones, and uh, from there you can take the valves out. We're not gonna take them out right now, just cause we need to keep them in order, and we don't have the new parts, and we uh, don't have everything set up. So we're just gonna do that on another day. Uh, but as of right now, we're just taking this out. Um, and then I guess we can do an update on the Del Sol, right? Yeah. So, we've been working on the deep soul, kind of. Um, so, uh, we took it to emissions yesterday, and it failed um, after that little tune-up we did. But then we got some uh, sea foam from uh, AutoZone, put it in the gas tank, let it run through, that helped quite a bit, and uh, didn't need a new air filter because that looked pretty much new. Uh, what was the CP, hmm? the valve we changed? I forget the name. Oh. Was it the It's like the um, CPV valve? Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, the CPV it, valve. It re-burns the, uh, uh, the gas, so emissions will be. Yeah, we changed out the CPV valve, we did the sea foam. We moved the distributor, distributor oh, yeah. so it changed the idle a little bit, and that's what we failed at at emissions. It was just at idle, and it barely failed, yeah. and it passed with flying colors this time. So. Yeah, today it passed, but on the Super way quick. home, about like half a mile down the road, apparently the clutch blew up, so uh, it won't go into gear or anything. <laughs> so I guess we're going to have to either change the clutch or just get a whole new tranny. Uh, we have a tranny for a D-Series, so I might just throw that in. So that could be a whole other video right there. But uh, the door handles for the inside came in. This one I'm still putting on just because uh, in the middle of that I had to run out and do something. But uh, that one's all set up on the driver's side. It's all ready to go and uh, works perfectly fine. Locks, unlocks. Yeah, one of these was brand new too, right? Is that the driver or this one? It's a passenger one. Yeah. You can see because the lock sticker is uh, brand new. Yeah, you said it was OEM, right? Yeah, it came in an OEM box. Yeah, and, and it like sealed plastic bag. Pretty I cool. Just, I just couldn't find an OEM uh, driver one, but that's fine. 
It works all well, the Well, the driver one, it might be OEM, but it was used. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. New or used. I couldn't find a new uh, driver one, but passenger one looks cool. Yep, nice. So, I guess still afterwards, wheels and tires, uh, coilovers. Those will probably be the first things we do on this car. Yeah, we got to work on the front end because it's shaky. Yeah. Other than that, though, it's... Uh, it it's, runs really good right now. Yeah.
Well, there you have it. Got all the valves, retainers, and springs out. Or, fuck, not the valves. Springs, retainers, and the, the little clips out, the things that hold them in place. But that's what it should look like afterwards. You see the springs that used to go in there, they're missing. Same with the uh, retainers. And uh, for anyone that wanted to know kind of what VTEC is, here, let me. Let's see if I can find one that was already... There it is. You can see right there is a little pin. That pin can uh, be pushed in and out. And uh, at least for regular VTEC and not high VTEC, um, it will engage when you reach a uh, certain oil pressure. So, say, whatever RPM you hit, that's when uh, uh, VTEC will kick in. That little pin will uh, push into these other uh, little tops, and then from there it will make it engage these bigger lobes on the uh, cam, so that way the valves open up more when you reach a certain uh, revs. So that's pretty much uh, where VTEC comes in, uh, is, is that, where that pin engages with these other ones and makes uh, the valves open a little bit higher. So I thought that was pretty cool when I uh, found that out. But there's that, got all those out, so we should be ordering the uh, all the new parts for this soon. And then we'll, uh, we got this little wire wheel, just a little six inch wire wheel from uh, Home Depot. It'll go on that bench grinder right there so we can clean off the valves from all the uh, deposit and carbon buildup and shit like that. Just cause, you know, it's nice to uh, clean those up. But uh, other than that, we got these new lights for our garage and uh, they're they're small and portable or at least they don't get in the way and uh, it makes everything so much brighter as you can see right here camera doesn't do it justice but it is so much brighter it is so nice over here like this so we're probably gonna add more over there you can see the uh, the darkness of it and then we'll clean up uh, that area so that way we can pull a whole nother car in to this spot and then we'll move our work shit over there so that way we can have a car in here and work on stuff at the same time we could actually have two cars in here and be working on stuff Civic, of course, you know, there's the head working on it so it's out of commission and then like we said earlier, the uh, the Del Sol out there is out of commission as well the, uh, the training I was talking about for it was uh, this one right down here there it is Pulled that off our uh, 1.6 D-Series and uh, haven't even cracked the case on that, so everything is still in there. So, might just be uh, throwing that on the uh, Del Sol, since that one only had like 180,000 miles on it, whereas the other one has, fuck, 222,000, something like that. Uh, might get like a, a cheap eBay clutch or something for it, but who knows. Um, other than that, though... We're just going to be ordering these parts, get that put back together, and uh, slap it on the bottom end, get this car running again, and uh, probably make a whole nother video of the Del Sol changing the uh, transmission, but probably have to do that on the day I'm off or something. But uh, I guess we'll find out. But thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe. I know we only got 13 subscribers, but let's, uh, let's try to get more.